you guys know that dissection is a very very important part of anatomy and that's why basically nowadays you can't really study anatomy without dissecting okay so um in this lecture we're about to talk about how dissection was started should i put it like that okay basically um we are to talk about uh the people okay who started dissection and also how dissection was a taboo and how some people pushed for dissection to become legal and all those stuff okay so we are going to talk about the history of dissection practice so this is it um this is um, for us to discuss scientists who later encourage dissection okay um for the summary we have herophilus of chalcedonia and erasis Tratus. all right so this is uh them trying to do public dissection okay all right so before they were like dissecting and explaining to their student okay so that's it then first of all we're talking about herophilus all right um herophilus of chalcedonia in asia minor which is now in the present day turkey he lived between um 335 bc to 280 bc together with erasistratus he founded the first school of anatomy in alexandria okay where he openly encouraged the practice of human cadaver dissection. Okay, so now this led to some of the greatest medical knowledge of ancient times. Now, Herophilus is credited with describing the duodenum, the liver, the spleen, the circulatory system, the eye, the brain tissues, and genitals. Okay, all right. So you could see that this image, if you look deep, you could see that they are trying to like dissect. Okay. They are trying to dissect. What is on the table is not a human being though. I think it's like a pig. Okay. So before they could dissect, they could dissect an animal and use it to teach humans about human body. Okay. That was comparative anatomy. All right. So um, that's Herophilus. Then also the Roman and encyclopedist and physician. Aulus Cornelius Celsius, who lived between AD 3 to AD 64, reported rumors of this um, membership and vivisection of li uh, living criminals in Alexandria during the reigns of the Ptolemy 1, um, Ptolemy 3, and Ptolemy 2. Okay, Ptolemy is the names of the kings of Alexandria. Okay, so now also Celsius also published a collection of Greek medical writings around 8330 in which he suggested that the openings uh, he suggested that opening the bodies of the dead was essential to learners even though such practices were forbidden at as at, at that time okay so um this car guys this were the people who actually encouraged dissection okay these were the guys who actually pioneered uh bringing the dissection that was considered a taboo okay into a legal practice okay Herophilus um, founded the first school of anatomy and definitely they dissected and also uh sorry okay Herophilus then um Celsius um he said that um anatomy was essential okay sorry dissection was essential okay for the study of anatomy all right so they were the one that pushed for dissection to become a legal thing in anatomy okay that's it scientists who made dissection legal in the history of anatomy all right that's how i'm going to name this this video okay so see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now